Welcome to the Purdue Library's tutorial on the World's Fairs and Expositions Visions of Tomorrow database. This tutorial will cover an overview of the database, how to narrow down search results, and other helpful tools. You may wonder why you should use the World's Fair and Expositions database. This Gale resource contains primary sources about these landmark exhibits from 1834 to 1940 archiving the spirit, technology, design, and innovations that influence the modern world. Sources and <clears throat> Sources include organizational and administrative records, postcards, books of the fair, watercolors of the exhibits, and more. To get started, let's go to the Purdue Library's website at www.lib.purdue.edu. Next, click on the database link underneath the search box. This will link to a full list of databases available through the Purdue Libraries. To find the World's Fair and Expositions database, go to the W section, scroll down to the title, and click on the link. First, let's take a look at the main page. You may notice that this looks different from many of the other commonly used databases. However, it does have some similar features like basic and advanced searching. For our search today, we will use the basic search and try one for Frederick Law Olmsted, who designed the grounds for the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition. This will bring back over 50 results. While this isn't a huge number to go through, we can still narrow them down to get more specific. The menu to the right side of the screen allows us to narrow the results down by publication date, source library, document type, subjects, and more. For this search, we will refine the results by dates between January 1st of 1890 and January 1st of 1895. This will bring the results down to 13. From here, you can review the list to see which items will help with your research. Once you find what you are looking for, click on the title to open the item. At the center of the screen, you will see a scan document or image and a navigation bar just above to help you go through the document. To the left of the scan, there are an additional set of tabs to help you explore the document. For instance, the Explore tab will give you additional information about the document, allow you to scan for additional keywords, and even tell you the number of times your initial keyword search appears in the document. Another helpful tab is Illustrated Works. This allows you to quickly locate different images or tables that appear in the document. One last tip. If you look to the top right of the screen, you will see a button called Cite. You can use this button to cut and paste the citation to your bibliography or export it to a citation management software. Always make sure to double check the citation. There are occasional errors. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. If you are looking for other databases similar to World's Fair and Expositions, here are a couple to try.